right, Pisces. So you got Awas. So Pisces, I see that you are in the depths of it. You are, you're going to find yourself in the basement of your life this week. As you're down there in that life basement, maybe you want to clean some things out, you know, take advantage of your time down there. But yeah, I feel like you're going to feel stuck. Pisces, I feel like some of you are feeling stuck in depression. Okay, Pisces, I'm feeling called to bring these two up. Um, your Stones is Iwas and Gibu. So I feel like you're going to be gifted with, you're going to be gifted with the knowledge and strength that you need to move out of these depths of depression. I feel like be open. Be open to receiving help from others that helps you understand how you can release yourself from these depths. Because Pisces, I, I see you, I see you really low this week, really low. And I just I want to offer my love and my compassion to you. And um I want to say, you know. It's it's nothing to be ashamed of or anything. We all we all feel low sometimes. But I feel like if you are willing to just look up and around, there are those around you, both physical and spiritual, that want to help you. This might be a week to reach out for therapy. If you if you've been feeling really low, it might be a week to look into seeking a therapist, seeking mental help. Don't be ashamed of needing or seeking mental help. In fact, if you are low and you see that you need mental help and you seek mental help, that is the most wonderful, amazing, loving, just best human thing that you could do. <laughs> so, don't be ashamed to seek help. And I do see a need for help this week. And I I see that the help is going to help you understand how you can untie yourself. How you can release yourself. How you've been holding yourself back. How you can clean up some of the muck in the mire down there. And then lift yourself out. Or allow yourself to be lifted out. But it's going to take your efforts more than anyone else. And it's going to, you have to allow yourself to listen. And forgiveness is needed. You need to forgive some past aspects of yourself, Pisces. It's going to help. Forgive some past aspects of yourself and ask yourself what you need from you to make it right to you. And then be willing to do it for you. And that, that'll help you more than anything else. I mean, that'll help you a whole lot. Getting, seeking and getting mental help and working with a therapist will help you more than anything else. If you're in a place that needs that, use your discernment, Pisces. But some of you, it's just you're, you're, you're feeling low this week. Allow yourself to feel low while you're down there. Clean out the muck and mire. And you'll receive a gift for how to move forward in a better more loving way that, and I feel like your time in this lowness that you're going into this week is really going to strengthen you. You're going to be strengthened through this. Yes, I feel like everyone watching this definitely will be. Of course, I always teach and preach that there's choices involved. You can make the best out of it and be strengthened through it, or you can allow it to weaken you and bring you down. I just, I don't feel like anyone watching this would even do that. I feel like y'all are definitely, definitely going to be strengthened through this process. Allow the ups and downs. Know that there's reasons for ups, there's reasons for downs. Allow the ebb and flow of life. Notice whenever you're in the ebb and when you're in the flow 
and know that there's gifts of life available to you in the ebb and the flow. And it's always what you do with it, Pisces. Your choice and what you do is going to be most important here. All right, Pisces, that's the message I got for you this week. I do hope that it helps you even in some small way. If, it, if you did enjoy this message, please hit that like button. Otherwise, take the parts that resonate the most and leave the rest and be blessed.